uh, could you go over the differences between uh, HLG and HDR? At least how it how it affects the uh, the video. So the the UHD Alliance has supported the the PQ encoding PQ that was developed by Dolby. So it's um, and it, there's an open standard version of that which is called HDR10, um, and that's what's being used today for features in episodic TV uh, encoding and delivery. That's what Amazon's using and Netflix is using and what Hulu and Vudu and others will certainly <laughs> soon use. Uh, and by the way, it'll also be used on the Ultra Blu-rays. Um, but um, Hyperlog Gamma or HLG was developed by the BBC and NHK as a broadcast format for live broadcast, for sports and live broadcast. It's not um, really finished yet. It's sort of in its early stages of development. Um, and it will probably coexist with the other format because TV sets today are smart TVs. They, um, you know, this is IT technology. It's not, it's not the way it used to be. So, you know, they, they uh, interact with the broadcast stream. And by the way, you know, uh, this, this is for streaming video, but it will soon be the same technology that's used by the broadcasters with the next broadcast standards that are coming. It'll take a couple years, but it's coming. It's good. So, and it'll, it'll work. Don't worry about it. It'll work. <laughs> and, and some of the TVs already, some of them are um, doing, are supporting both yeah. HDR10 yeah. and Dolby yep. Vision already. Uh, LG is one example. And, and they'll support HLG too when it comes because it's just, a, it's just a software update. So some of you may already know if you have your smart TVs, occasionally you get this message that says, you know, software downloading. It, the TV is automatically updating itself. Um, you don't have to take it back to a service shop. It, it, it does it automatically. Like a Tesla. Like, well, <laughs> kind of like a Tesla, yeah. <laughs>